Are you interested in coaching the legendary UConn women's basketball team? Well, for the low, low amount of 10 or more years of head coaching experience in a Division I program, you too can have the privilege of becoming a UConn assistant coach. Yes, that is right. Gino Oriyama is hiring. And no, none of his assistant coaches have left. The UConn women's basketball team is able to hire an extra position because of a recent NCAA ruling that allows women's basketball teams to have two additional assistant coaches. The UConn women's Huskies, as we all know, is, is headed up by head coach Gino Oriyama, uh, associate head coach Chris Daly, and assistants Morgan Valley and Jamel Elliott. And if you were kind of getting excited a little bit about your next big coaching break, Unfortunately, you're a little bit too late. Unfortunately, your chances of UConn greatness has come and gone because the job only lasted on the University of Connecticut's job board for a whopping seven days. That's right, only seven days for a job. Uh, this short period of time uh, for this listing, along with the lofty preferred qualifications of basically being a collegiate basketball national championship coach, that means that UConn already kind of has their next hire in mind, and they had to make this post uh, due to some sort of regulatory reason. Um, according to CT Insider, uh, one of the few coaches that actually fit UConn's requirements is former UConn assistant coach Tanya Cardoza. Uh, Tanya was a part of five UConn NCAA championships uh, when she was on staff from 1994 to 2008. Uh, she was also a head coach for Temple uh, from 2008 to 2022. So it's likely that this job was written narrowly tailored for Tanya to walk into this job. There has been rumors about her returning to UConn. However, it still mums the word for right now. Um, so we'll still wait to see officially who will be the next assistant coach, though it seems likely that it's probably Tanya. I know there's a bunch of college coaches right now who would leave a head coach job to go to UConn as an assistant. Um, UConn is seen by many as one of the pinnacles of women's basketball, and they just have a huge legacy around them. And so it's likely that, you know, if you joined the UConn women's basketball team as an assistant coach, you're pretty much guaranteed to win a national championship or at least make it to the final four multiple times. It's just because that's how UConn is. That's the type of players that, that Gino Oriama consistently gets, uh, high quality players that are able to um, make it to, to a national championship game. And also just a little side note, uh, in case you haven't been counting, Gino Oriyama has been the head coach for UConn going on 39 years. And he spent all of that time with associate head coach Chris Daly on his side. And so one thing is for sure that whoever agrees to be an assistant coach for UConn, um, they're just about guaranteed that they will forever just be an assistant coach. Because for UConn, Gino Oriyama and Chris Daly are not going anywhere anytime soon. And so that is probably why Tanya left in the first place. Uh, she was an assistant coach for UConn, but she left because she wanted an opportunity to get a little bit higher in the food chain when it comes to, um, to coaching. There was no opportunity to do that at UConn because, you know, Gina Oriyama's right-hand man uh, or woman is, is Chris Daly and Tanya couldn't move up. And so she left. Um, and now it seems like she's possibly coming back, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, folks, that is the video. Just wanted to make a quick one um, to let you all know that uh, UConn women's basketball is hiring. Um, what are your thoughts on UConn adding another assistant coach to their roster? Uh, who are some coaches that you would recommend uh, joining the UConn Huskies? Uh, also, when do you think Gino Oriyama will retire? I'm thinking probably in like 
15 years, I think he'll probably consider retiring. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you, what you think in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like this video and please subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye.